Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out today. This is a great honor for me to be able to moderate this. And I just want you guys to know that just being here for this panel, you're all world champions. So let's get out the people behind this show. First of all, I'd like to introduce the uh, executive producer, uh, writer, I assume. We'll find out. That's what we do at panels. Hugh Davidson. Nice, nice run. Um, and here's a dream I have always had. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson! Thank you very much. A uh, member of the cast, a bald fellow, Jim Rash. <laughs> oh, this is a big show. Hey, Jimmy. Bless you. So bald. Oh, bless so you. Bald. Bless you. <laughs> and finally, oh, man. Rachel Ramrus! <laughs> Woo. Um, I'm just going to keep getting people up here because we have like six more seats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just gonna call no, we're going to play other person. characters. So just, uh, <laughs> What's that? At one point, we'll play other characters in the panel. Norm MacDonald will probably just show up at some point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, well, I guess that would be my first question. I, 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 I'm not surprised that Comic-Con's probably not Norm Macdonald's bag. Um, but, uh, yeah, where the hell is he? I think he's, uh, in, he's performing at some place called Chubbs in San Francisco. Oh, okay, I I'm get not it. making it up. I get it. I think. All right. No, that's a he good He told game. me to say this show is like Hannah without the annoying Bar Barbera. Hey, no. That was his line. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, he wishes he could be here. I know. Right. Cool. Um, so w this show was described to me as uh, Scooby-Doo meets the A-team with Mike Tyson. <laughs> so who had the idea? How did it happen? Where do you get an idea like that? And, and just, just d explain the, uh, the evolution of it. Hey, I don't know. Um... <laughs> I don't know about no A team, probably some special A team, but <laughs> I, I never, I never was a cartoon character. They decided, um, Hugh decided to make me a cartoon character. <laughs> and, yeah, um, it's that wait easy. A second. I just, my whole life, I wanted to turn you into a cartoon yeah. character. <laughs> and you're very successful at doing it. Oh. I always <laughs> thought I was a cartoon character, but I never thought that, you know. Yeah, yeah. literal, literal. Literally. Yeah, and then. Literally. uh Good, good. Uh, he, That's why the show's grammatically correct now, because we have my... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wears a lot of hats. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Yeah. This is just... No, me. Mike gives a lot of notes, a lot of notes. I try. Good notes, good notes. Uh, so, so Hugh, why don't you tell us how this all came about, uh, how everybody here got to be sitting here today. Okay, I think... Um, yeah, Mike had, it was Mike's idea to be a cartoon. Yes. And then? I didn't think it was going to be this good. I'm yeah. To tell you the truth. We I thought it would be, be much good. worse. So it was be real. I and, thought it was uh, going to be really slow, like. You get that bar. Hey, Mike. And then two seconds later, I'm over here. It's just, you know, like, <laughs> hey, Mike. What you want? You know what I mean? Look at the Chinese movies, the Ron Ron Shaw movies, Shaw Brothers. You killed my wife. <laughs> 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 but the pronunciation, the etiquette, um, yeah. the lexicon, everything was precise in the wording. And um, I felt that as I was a, like somewhat of, you know, I don't know, I was a pretty bright guy. You know, what do you call those guys again, you know? Erudite. I felt like erudite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're 
Mike, you Mike yeah. you've done you done you've done a lot of things in your life. Um, so is this being a cartoon character? Well, I never adopted a is Chinese it fun? girl. <laughs> what? I never adopted a Chinese girl. <laughs> you know That's what? That's just one of the facts. You're still young. <laughs> right. So basically, Mike, how close is this to your real life? I know you do have pigeons, right? Yes, I have around 2,000 pigeons. Is that and right? You have 2,000? Yeah, 2,000. I'm a little bit more, 2,000. Really? What are you doing with 2,000 pigeons? I fly them. They fly. <laughs> they fly. Is that the command? Fly. They fly. Well, some ones that don't fly, they die. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you don't fly, wait, wait, you, you die. You're like, if you, you tell them if you don't fly, you you're dead. No, um, that's not true. The hawk kills them. It, it, it's instinct. No, wait, the hawk? Yeah, the hawk is out there, man. It's real out here, man. You don't fly right, the hawk eats your ass. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> that's, like, are, that's like a life lesson. Yes, they are. Hawk will get your ass. There are scavengers ass. in the room. There are scavengers um, in the air. Why don't yeah. you guys um, <laughs> explain your character, starting with Rachel? Oh. Well, hi. the star of the show. Yeah. This is why you're all here to see. <laughs> um, I play Young Hee, Mike Tyson's adopted Korean daughter who was left on his doorstep. When she was oh, a baby. I think she's Chinese. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very similar. So no, it's not. <laughs> Um, you tell a Korean that a Chinese is very similar. No, oh, it's watch not. Out. Oh, watch Koreans, out. Koreans are pouring out of here right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or the Chinese. Okay. But they're both welcome to watch the show. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm homeschooled by Mike. So she's very so, bright. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> very and, um, you know, I'm, you know, love my dad. And I go along with solving these mysteries because they make him happy. And I'm, you know, hoping to go to college one day. But in the meantime, I hang out with a pigeon and mm -hmm. Mike. And Mike. But if you go to college, we won't solve any mysteries. That's exactly. right. Exactly. So I'm not going to so college. So don't go. So we can go. <laughs> I won't. And Jim? Uh, I play uh, the Marquis of Queensberry, who is a uh, 18th century ghost. Uh, based on, well, John Douglas of Queensbury. Was you acted like you know it so <laughs> Jim well. Jim texted us this morning saying, who am I? Yeah, again? don't worry when about is it. he? And now he asked I just need my background, all right? Um, uh, yeah, no, but uh, basically John Douglas, this is true, though. Yeah, he in was invented. Popularized, popularized the, rules. the rules of boxing. So yeah, I come absolutely into. absolutely true. Absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. And Marcus I come into. Marcus of Queensbury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I come into uh, Mike's life to uh, and uh, lead this path into good of helping people through solving mysteries. Yeah, absolutely. And Mike, you play um, Mike. Mike, Mike. Yeah, you Mike. play Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yes. What's that yes. like? <laughs> I don't know. It, uh, it's you know it's a cross between of a. I don't know, Frankenstein with an AQ, a lobotomy, some kind that's of way. How, yeah, that's what I have written down here yeah. that you were going to say. That's crazy. <laughs> cool, something um, like that. Hugh, yes. uh, yeah. so tell us about what, what is this show about? We, we have a pretty good I'm idea. Solving from Mysteries. The sizzle mm -hmm. it's a Solving Mysteries. Right. Solving Mysteries. What, what's that sizzle reel not showing us, basically? Uh, probably the influence of the show. Um, uh, there's some shit. Now I'm forgetting. It's like it had Michael Landon and a and a guy Highway in the Highway to Heaven. Highway to Heaven. Highway to Heaven. You remember that? One? Sure. It's, it's got a lot of Highway to Heaven in it. I feel like people were wanting more Highway to Heaven. Mm -hmm. I saw a, a great <laughs> that people are familiar with here. I'm sure when they watch the cartoons. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, the, the, the old Hanna Barbera cartoons. It looks like, but there's like uh, basically the 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 theme is Mike is trying to help people. And people send and mysteries to him via... And over via the years, we saw how that worked out, right? Mm -hmm. They send them via carrier pigeon. And for some reason, those messages get to Mike. And then yes. they go and try and solve the mystery. Because pigeons, you know, believe it or not, they can go over a thousand miles and deliver a message. So a lot of the mysteries can occur mm -hmm. farther away than get, a thousand they miles. They don't get lost or eaten by a hawk or eagle yeah. or anything. I will receive a message. There's that hawk again, yeah. There's always the hawk. There's so always the hawk. If the me if, if you're, even if you're a thousand miles away, There's you can still send a message. It's always the hawk. <laughs> oh, please, let's make a tea. When you can't, when you can't, when you, you know, the hawk is on your back when you can't pay that rent. The yeah. hawk, that's the hawk too. Yeah. It's a metaphor. metaphor Life really is full of hawks. The hawk, I mean, yes. The hawks. 
the ruthless, selfish hawk. Oh, ruthless. <laughs> Who I hates hope, hawks I hope here? no one here spirit animal is a hawk. What? <laughs> so as you can tell, there's, we, Mike is great at uh, kind of uh, soliloquies and long monologues. Yeah. So we got what? a lot of those in the show. Uh, <laughs> And they're, he's really, really, really funny in it. Um, and he helps people. Yeah, so they're not really always mysteries, right? It's just sometimes yeah. problems that Mike just calls a mystery. Yeah, it's maybe he, he kind of overreacts to things. And what was that word you used out with a what? <laughs> Did that mean um, finishing all the explanations properly? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't remember the word, but yeah. Okay. That's okay. I think okay. that's what I said. Okay. Um, I like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like uh, Mike, like someone, they'll get a message, and maybe it'll be a simple thing. Like in the first one, Cormac McCarthy, who's a famous novelist, um, he's having trouble with writer's block, and so he contacts Mike and wants him to help him finish. This makes sense. He wants him to, to finish his novel, and then they get there, and, you know, the, the Cormac McCarthy manuscript, it's very dense, and it's, there's a lot of writing, and it's tough. It's a tough slog. And then just having nothing to do with it, a chupacabra starts <laughs> killing people. And then, so it's like, you know, sometimes mysteries crop up in unexpected places, <laughs> I guess. Um, what are, what, how many episodes are you doing, and maybe what are some of the other storylines that uh, you guys uh, are I doing? think there's, there's ten... There are 10. I don't think there are 10. There are 10. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, my, you know, there's that one with Cormac McCarthy. Another one, uh, we, he, Mike goes to IBM because someone at IBM needs help. And um, then they spend a lot of time looking around for who that could be. And uh, someone might be trapped in a computer. I don't want to give it all away. Um, the Reading Jail. Mm -hmm. The Reading Jail. Uh, what else do we got? Rachel, you know these things. Um, yeah, we have one where someone needs help. This is a not as sort of scary mystery. They just need help buying their new house. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. But they don't know if they It's like a mystery how to buy a house, and, yeah. right? And we're so, just, listen, we're just nip, we're, we're nipwits. We're stupid. We just don't know what we're doing on the show. <laughs> I don't know. I well, don't. It's, there, it's unrealistic for there to be a good mystery right. all the time. Like, <laughs> I tried That's to unrealistic, and so this show's grounded in yeah. reality. Yeah. Yeah. And so sometimes yeah. it's like, not that much to do. I was trying to tell Howie we can get some pimps and stuff right. in the show. And we, you know, cause I had Bishop Magic Wand. He's a real life pimp. But I was trying to get him on the show, and hopefully it goes well, because that would be good, because they'd be private investigators, the PIs. <laughs> Mike? Please Mike? do that. <laughs> yes. <The PI. laughs> Mike put me on the phone with that man, like, 30 minutes ago. Yes. He yes. just put, he handed me a phone. He said, That's Bishop Don Juan. He's Bishop Magic Don Juan. Mike's handed me the phone a couple of times and just said, He's handed me the phone. And when he hands me his phone, he says, As he's handing me, he says, I'm going to put you on with a guy, Hugh. He, uh, he's a, uh, uh, he makes uh, cartoons. He can he's put you in a cartoon. He's the man. And then awesome. he just hands me the phone. <laughs> he's the man. And then people, and then, I, then they're going to get put on the cartoon. So, um, We'll see. It's like the mysteries. Flavor, flav. <laughs> flavor, flavor. So it's flav. that. Yeah. You never know who's gonna put on the phone. That's you how phone. you get on a TV show, I guess. Yeah. You gotta if you can, if you can be call in, Mike. You gotta call Mike. You gotta call Mike and then <laughs> yeah. be in, in yeah. proximity. Yeah. Exactly. And so then there's Mike's something. Hand me the I to get the message actors. from the pigeon. Yeah. yeah. Mike, give out your real phone number so inspiring <laughs> actors can. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, listen. I got in trouble. I don't longer have a phone. You don't. It's safer that way. The phone. Uh, so what, what um, tell us, you guys, Rachel, Jim, and Hugh, you guys have known each other for quite some time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we were all performers at the Groundlings wow. in uh, Los Angeles together. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Great band. <laughs> great band, great you're right. Band. <laughs> great band, great we band. We were, uh, I was the drummer. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, you sung Bag of Fogles, and then and I just carried tambourine. shit around. We were just, just a percussion band only. Yeah. Tambourine. Uh, we were, yeah, we all performed together, and then, um, and then, then inevitably we've written stuff together. So it's very nice that we, we do have that relationship. And, and, and did you know Norm as well? I had never met Norm. Yeah. He is, um, he's very, he's the funniest person in the world. He's I agree. Just, 
I don't know what the hell it is about him. Just even if he talks about anything, it's... Oh, Norman. It's, yeah. He's we thought Norman's not here, but we saw his paper. And for some strange, peculiar reason, it looks like it's his memorial picture, right? It's really nice. It looks like it's a... It's just spooky, guys. We should okay? tell Norman yeah. that. Just, his headshot looks like I'm a memorial picture. I'm trying to think of if Marcus of Queensbury sent somebody to prison. Who's that author that he sent to prison? To Oscar Wilde. Oscar right. Wilde. He sued Oscar Wilde. Look, Oscar Wilde was dating his son. That's yes, why. Yes, and he was didn't like it. Yeah, but that was. Those are different times. Yeah. Yeah, it was. The way it those was. are different it really times. <laughs> Sometimes it's better just to say those are different times. <laughs> yeah. So how how long is it going to take to get the Harlem Globetrotters on this show? <laughs> Hey, um, well, it depends. Yeah. Mike, do you know them? And can you call them and then hand the phone to, to Hugh? Well, listen, I knew Curly. I don't know if Curly's still alive now, but if he's still alive, I knew him. Oh, man, mm -hmm. I hope I so. I would love to have the Super Globe Trotters and jump into those lockers, if anyone remembers yeah, that yes. cartoon. Yeah, yes, well, of course. I want to, you guys to both be running one direction and for the Globe Trotters to be running another mm -hmm. and then slam into the same door and then greet each other for about 30 seconds. Yeah. No, uh -huh. we need no. Lawrence Taylor for that shit. Uh -huh. Not gonna happen. Hard call, Not gonna bro. happen. That's hard call, <laughs> baby. Um, so Mike, do you we enjoy this? We need some this? Spanish people on the cartoon too, you know? Yeah. They what? We need some Mexicans, bro. Yeah. More we do, we need more Mexicans. More Mexicans. In the yeah. show. More Mexicans in animation in general, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Well, definitely all, on our show. No, I don't know about animation on my show. I agree. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I feel like, yeah, we do need more, more Mexicans, Mexicans on the show. That's I can't maybe wait. a good season two. I can't wait to talk to you around season four or five, yes. Hugh. <laughs> You're like, I have no idea what's going on. No, <laughs> season four and five, we're going to have Machete on there. Uh -huh. Yeah. We have Machete. Yeah. Machete, bro. <laughs> yeah. So do you, <laughs> Mike, do you enjoy doing this kind of thing? I'm really having a good time. It's fun? Yeah. Is it better than punching people? Hey, listen, um, I'm glad I don't have to punch people no more, but God, yeah. that was I'm so glad also, you know? Mike. Oh, yeah, you were really good at it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't like doing it, because I'm real you good at it. You did enough punching. Yeah, got I, it. Got, I got punched enough, too. Shit. You get hit with the lawsuits afterwards, you knock the guy out too quick, so you're still geeked up, and you, you hit somebody else, you, then you got a, you got a, uh, you got an officer involved, and next thing you know, you got a you got a lawyer, you got a jury involved, you got a couple, you got a judge involved in your life and shit. You got a witness involved in your life. Hey man, Jim, you're you're nodding. Well, I, we we've connected about similar lifestyle. You know, I. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, my, my are you the pigeon? You're the pigeon, right? Uh, no, I'm well, the ghost. Well, listen, the pigeon, the pigeon need to go to the, the pigeon is spent in rehab or something, man. Cause you he, think? I know. He needs a stint. He needs. Yeah. A stint. Yeah. Ninety but it's days. True. Yeah. Ninety wow. days. Wow. We're learning a lot. We're learning we really a lot are. today. Um, Someone recorded that last bit, right? That was yeah, that was good. We should put that straight in the show. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't even animate that one. Just. Uh, let me. Let's get to the writing uh, of it all. Who does that? Uh, I've done, I guess I've shared, I've, I've done m the majority. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel, on the end, co-wrote, I think, um, three or four. Th Let's say three four. Or four. Let's say four. <laughs> uh, We're going to round up to five. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Five. yeah. Yeah. And, well, yeah. And it's like, they're, they're, they're hard, because I had not written the, the 11 minutes is tough. Tell know. me about it. We, we overwrote it first. Yeah. We. Well, how many pages did you start with? I had seen some script and it was like it was like 19 pages. Oof. And then I was like, all right, I'll I'll get around seven, 16, 17. But that, really, they need to be like 11 or 12. They need to be about 12 or yeah. 13. Is that right? true for you guys? Yeah, yeah. And we learned that last. We've done it six years. Hey, yeah. skateboard dude. Can't sit learn. down, man. Ah! What are you doing, man? Ah! You better sit down, sir. <laughs> I, would, I would sit down if I were you. You're, that was so smart of you. Oh my God. So yeah, smart. Man. We're promoting shit so here, smart. man. God. Damn. I've, been, I've been told to sit the <laughs> down twice I mean, by you. This is the Mike Tyson mystery news conference. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of behavior. I'm just playing, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing, dude. Hey, man, you know? There are hawks yeah. everywhere. There are hawks yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, 
Oh, just, he might just came from prison just to let me go to Comic Con. I don't know. He know what happened. Yep. Mike, what do you what do you think of Comic Con? Are you have you uh? No, I've never been invited here, but I um. <laughs> Oh, I've engaged with an some. Invitation. I've engaged with some very um, Comic Con characters. Comic Con-y like, people. Comic Con, Comic Con, Comic Con, Comic Con. You know, you know Comic Con, Comic Con, Comic Con. Yeah. Have I really lost my mind? Yeah. <laughs> I really lost my mind. Woo! No, it's dead perfect. It's perfect. This is why we want it. Come on, come on, come on. Um, and then Boy what George. is the? When, what is the, is the animation process one of those um, really long ones where everything gets sent away and it comes does. back? It does. This or? one's a little quicker, th I think, than other things that I've worked on. Um, but it's, it does. It goes away and then comes back. But uh, it's a treat to see. It's very fun to see animated Mike Tyson. Yo, it really is. Because I thought it was going to have me looking really lethargic, like, hey, Mike's coming. <laughs> Mike seemed to think his stuff quick. was going to be it's real quick. slow. It's quick. It's quick. Uh, he was very pleased quick. with how quick he was. It's quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very quick. We, you're yeah, quick quicker than you thought going to be. He's not slow. And I'm good. I'm the good guy. I got the white hat on. You know, you know you're the good guy. He's the, the white guy. cap. I'm, forget my language to vulgarity, but it is adult swim, right? So. <laughs> I was so happy I could curse on the show. Yeah. It meant a lot to Mike to be able to curse on the show. Yeah, I, 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 I get it. Yeah, Man. I get it. Feel free to curse. I don't think there's one child in this audience. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys... but am I going to have a family? I know I have Yee and we adopted it, but yeah. am I going to yeah, have a have family? Am I going to have a, a wife and stuff? Or We did joke know. around at first that we thought it would be funny if at some point your wife just came out of the house and they were all like, who, who is that woman? <laughs> and... None of the mystery team knows you're married. Oh, um, no. Maybe that'll happen in season two. We'll see. Yeah. Save okay. that, right? Okay. okay, Yeah, it's good to expand. Okay. Good to have a family. But this is also kind of like your cartoon That's family. That's your family, exactly. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. I know. And you're very paternal. I think Mike has a very uh, vulnerable paternal streak that I think is... Um... Does that mean I'm, I'm capable... Serious. I'm serious. Does that mean I'm capable of getting pregnant? <laughs> No, uh, it doesn't oh, mean that. Oh, no, definitely. Paternal. Does, I don't think it means that. Paternal streak, what does it no, mean? No, maternal. You're thinking maternal. maternal. Mama. You're paternal. Puh. Yeah, I'm 95% yeah. sure you cannot get pregnant. <laughs> but. <laughs> um, you guys do yeah, the groundlings. It's going to be a real shitty deal, boy. It's going to be a real shitty deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys all come, coming from the groundlings, you, you're, you're all improvisers then. At, We're at, improvising at, right now. <laughs> That's a great yeah. point, Rachel. Good. Thank you. Um. Thank you. You're watching it. Um, uh, what, how much improv is involved uh, in animation in general and then in this show in particular? Well, bear, not, not too much. I do think that what they didn't like the idea, at least in animation, no one in that culture wants you to have all the actors in the room together. Yeah. They don't want them to overlap. Because right. then they're forced to edit that. But, but I, wa I want it because it's like th these actors are funny and their timing is great. And it's like you have Norm MacDonald. You don't want to have some animation editor decide how funny Nor when Norm would say his mm -hmm. line. You know. So it's been great. They, get, they usually do get in the room together. And there is, there is a lot of improv. I bet they will say they don't, but they do. Right? Yeah, a little bit. I have to you tell me to say. You know, I'm reading the scripts. Just read the scripts. Um, Jim. <laughs> I try to read them. Jim Rash. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. How did you get involved with I could with read this? real well. It's just the spelling that yeah, me up. You yeah, it is the spelling. The spelling, man. The spelling f***ing him up. That's it's probably my fault. Uh, <laughs> got car wash, ghost mirror. What the f***? Is there a lot of spelling in animation? There's a ton of spelling. ton okay. of spelling. I got to stop. I, well, we could make... Mm -hmm. We could draw pictures, but then... At that point, why don't I just animate it? Yeah, it's like a highlights magazine. Uh -huh. Just -E pictures. you know, half respect the mother. Yeah. Right. God. Um, Jim, so yeah, I was I asking you a question. I had <laughs> what was the question? No what was, clue I what it was. <laughs> no yeah. spelling. No, it was just knowing Hugh and, and Rachel, I think, you know, as far as gr our Growling connection and, and Hugh. Rachel Paul. is great, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is the bomb. He is um, a really... 
influential um, character in the program. And you'll notice once you see the program, you'll realize why she's very influential because I don't know shit and she's doing oh, all the work. Oh, yeah, all right. Yes. yes. Um, you know what, guys, guys, listen. Th these people want to ask questions. Oh, right. Oh. So if Hugh would shut up for a second. Yeah. I just wanted to get my point across. You look okay. like Professor X from the X-Men. Um, what? <laughs> Professor X from like the X-Men. That's right. Mm -hmm. Rob can move things just to do the it, Do yeah. it something, right? Who's bald now, man? I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why right now, Mike. I just told him, but it's a secret. <laughs> Only he could hear it in his brain. Um, all right, we have a bunch of people lined up no, already. Let's take a question. Uh, first question. Hi. Uh, first of all, I just want to real quick, Rob, I'm really looking forward to Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Thank Woo. you. This is not about me. Hey, hey, listen. <laughs> a little bit. Stick with Tyson Mysteries, all right? I yeah. Can tell. <laughs> We're here Don't about solving. Don't be coming giving shout outs to right, other right, shows no more compliments. and stuff and stuff. We're Don't solving a mystery. Don't be trying to get no, you know, brownie points. Don't be brown nosing, thank, dude. Thank, thank you. What Tyson is your mysteries, question? Tyson Mysteries, dude. <laughs> all right. I won't compliment Jim on community as well. All right. Um, yeah, so considering that, uh, Hugh, you do the writing, and Mike, you are quite a character in real life, so... How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> in your face. In your face. When, when you take someone from real life and put them in a cartoon, you have an opportunity to make them more extreme, but it seems like... Right. I think that's, that's a... Oh, you I think have, it's a salient question. Oh, tell them, yes. Yeah. Salient, I like that. Salient. Salient. <laughs> I think that is a good question. I, I do think like um, the show is not as crazy maybe as it looks. It's very grounded and um, and I I think that you're right. You're right. Mike is a sort of extreme guy. I think the thing we definitely wanted to hold on to. I don't think I'm extreme. Mike. Extreme. We shouldn't argue on the panel. Um, <laughs> he's not. He, but in uh, real life, maybe you'd want to feel like at any second Mike could be extreme. But I'm not. Yeah, right. But he's not. But you want to believe that he could be. But I'm not. But he's not. Mm -hmm. See? But just in yeah. case, it's like we want to just send Mike across the whole floor of Comic-Con. A little part come of you on, wonders come on, come what on, come will come happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right? And so the show still come has that quality, on. like, Whoa. you should watch out. There's vanilla ice walking by. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I hope we answered your question. Yeah. <laughs> this ahead, is like sir. a train being driven hey, hey, by hey, a hey, hey, child. Hey, hey, hey. I love it. Hey, good. How you doing, Rodney Lee? Um, I'd just like to know if um, you're ever gonna fight on the show, and if you're not extreme enough, could you like get Dennis Rodman to help you or some stuff like that? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a few breaths. I can just tell this guy to shut up. This is a um, We have to get in contact with the North Korean president, perhaps, and then um, he could be the middleman for the negotiation. We'll <laughs> That's right. We'll have to see if he'll let us yes. use Dennis. Um, I think Mike, is, Mike will satisfy your need for extreme behavior. I promise. It depends on what you like, buddy. Yeah. For sure. Hey, say. Next question. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, Mike, I was wondering if uh, you've watched Adult Swim before, and excuse if, me, if you've watched Adult Swim, if and if watched, you had a favorite show. If you've well, watched Adult Swim before, and what's your favorite show? Yes, that's okay, the question. Um, I don't know if it's Adult Swim, <laughs> but it's. But it's those badass black kids that's always cursing. Which one? I think Eddie that's, Murphy's yeah. involved. Huh? Which one is that? Which movie? The what is that? Right? The Boondocks. 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 Yeah, Boondocks. Boondocks. Yeah, yeah, I did watch it. Yes, I did. Yeah. I viewed Adult Swim on a few occasions. It's not appointment television, but he's seen it. He's yes, familiar with the product. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. That Next was all? Question. You just want to know if you knew the product. All right, good. That's good. Hi. Yes. My question is for Jim Rash. Oh. Uh, so, uh, 
when you were Fenton on, on that 70s show, your voice was way low, and then, uh, yes. and then Dean Pelton's voice is way up here. How'd you pick the voice for this? Oh, that's a great well, question. thank you very much. Uh, Jim, talk about your voices. Those are my two ranges. That's it, low or high. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, at first, we played around with the British, and then we... And then but Jim, Jim couldn't, couldn't do a do British it. accent. Oh, I don't... That, I didn't get that note, but yeah, so then we... <laughs> Well, it just didn't sound Boy, British. you found out right from this crowd. Um, you know, you try. You know, you put yourself out there. It was just coming there. across a little Mary Poppins-y. Uh, Black Samurai. I watched Black Samurai, too. Oh, there you go. Black Samurai. I watched Black Samurai. Yeah. There you go. I hope that guy didn't leave. Afro Samurai. Afro, Afro, Afro. Afro Samurai, not Black Samurai. Afro Samurai. Afro Samurai. <laughs> the truth will come out. Yeah. It may take a while. But it will come mm -hmm. out. Yo, that, that ain't Jerry Garcia right there. I know it's not no, Jerry Garcia. No, it can't be Jerry. Yeah. Welcome home, brother. <laughs> Jerry. And Jerry. that's the end of my answer. <laughs> Jerry. Next now, question. And that's they how said I you find were You heard voice. you and Jerry before, huh? <laughs> You've been told that before. Wouldn't Can that I'll suck when he died, all his girls couldn't get their money because he was a friendly guy, he promised them that he died, but then his other girlfriend, the last one he had, took all the money and told pretty girl, the hell with you. Remember that? You saw the documentary? You saw the documentary. Oh, man, you ain't Jerry You guys Garcia. mind if they have a private conversation? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. The panel? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's the next question? <laughs> Um, are you sure? Because um, I think I've got time for listening to all of you just uh, having a quick conversation between yourselves. No, go on. You can ask your question. That's all right. <laughs> uh, well, I did have two questions, but I had to... Well, you two. used one of them up by making that joke. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> I did ask the first one to this guy, but um, something I'm going to have to ask you guys after this panel. All right, um, next question. How oh, about? No, 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 no. So I do have one question. One legitimate question. Um, if you think how long this What's goes... What's that hung guy to do the dance? <laughs> What's that dance again? What? what? Hong. Mama, you know the guy Hong that does that dance? The song? What? Oh, gang gangman. Yeah, ganja style. That's yeah, you. Yeah, ganja style. <laughs> You're the ganja style guy. That's the ganja style guy. The ganja um, style. Got it. That's weird that he's here asking questions. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> What's that ganja style guy going to ask us? Yeah. All right. Depending um, how you think this show will go, do you think there might be a possibility of doing a crossover with the Venture Brothers? No. No way, dude. You, <laughs> you wanker. <laughs> now we gotta first get those Harlem Globetrotters. We gotta get the Harlem Globetrotters yeah. and Afro Kid, with Afro Samurai. Get that Afro Samurai, what, then <laughs> maybe. Then maybe. Yeah, so maybe. Next question. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Hello. How's this it going, guys? This is probably going to be our last question. Oh, man. I know. Just wanted to say, show looks fantastic. Mike, I'm a lifelong fan, really excited about it. Uh, what I you're really want to... You're only 12 years old. How are you a lifelong fan? <laughs> <laughs> you're 12 years old, dude. That's a good question. You're 12 years old, dude. Come on, you made your break. You're 12, man. I love you too. I mean, fuck, you know, I'm just trying to be funny. To I know, show. dude, that was funny. But I'm 13. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My perception, the perception. I was just wondering if there was any plans to get Mike in the writer's room, because I think that's what we really want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that'd be, that, that, would be, that would be beautiful, but I would probably have, you know, you know, you'd have to spell that shit. It looks like it's, you know, it looks like Russian is writing, a, that's you know an what issue. I mean? God damn, it looks like you're in Kazakhstan, you see my hand right here. <laughs> Mike's a busy guy. Sometimes it's hard just very, to get him in the, the very, voice record Very, room. very busy, dude. Yeah. Very busy. Uh, we have 30 seconds left, probably show. time for one more question, if you want to squeeze it in. Yeah, do, do it. it. All right, cool. Uh, real quick uh, for all the improvisers up there. I guess Mike too. You're an improviser and well, punching people. All right, you got 15 yes. seconds, man. So so just the form How was the transition from going to improvised comedy to written, scripted television? Like, how was that difficult or easy? And that's our time. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I mean, yeah. easy, right? Yeah, easy. 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 None of our jobs I, are I hard. I do what I'm told, dude. I just do what I'm told. Hugh Davidson, Mike wow. Tyson, Jim Rash, Rachel Ramos. Thank you. Very Ramis, much. Thank thank you. you. Very much.